Cleaning and Corrosion Control. 1. The interior surface of sealed structural steel tubing would be best protected against corrosion by which of the following? A coating of linseed oil. 2. When an anodized surface coating is damaged in service, it can be partially restored by chemical surface treatment. 3. Select the solvent recommended for wipe tone of clean surfaces just before painting. Aliphatic naphtha. 4. Nickel cadmium battery cases and drain surfaces which have been affected by electrolyte should be neutralized with a solution of boric acid. 5. Corrosion caused by galvanic action is the result of contact between two unlike metals. 6. What may be used to remove corrosion from highly stressed steel surfaces? Fine grit aluminum oxide. 7. The lifting or flaking of the metal at the surface due to delamination of grain boundaries caused by the pressure of corrosion residual product buildup is called exfoliation. 8. Which of these materials is the most anodic? Magnesium. 9. Why is it important not to rotate the crankshaft after the corrosion preventive mixture has been put into the cylinders on engines prepared for storage? The seal of corrosion preventive mixture will be broken. 10. Which of these materials is the most cathodic? Stainless steel. 11. Corrosion should be removed from magnesium parts with a stiff, non-metallic brush. 12. The rust or corrosion that occurs with most metals is the result of a tendency for them to return to their natural state. 13. Fretting corrosion is most likely to occur when two surfaces fit tightly together but can move relative to one another. 14. A primary cause of intergranular corrosion is improper heat treatment. 15. Which of the following are acceptable to use when utilizing chemical cleaning agents on aircraft? 2. Cotton fiber wiping cloths when using a flammable agent. 3. Atomizing spray equipment. 2 and 3. 16. A primary reason why ordinary or otherwise non-approved cleaning compounds should not be used when washing aircraft is because their use can result in hydrogen embrittlement in metal structures. 17. For which of the following reasons would a water break test be conducted? To make certain that a bare metal surface is thoroughly clean. 18. A non-electrolytic chemical treatment for aluminum alloys to increase corrosion resistance and paint bonding qualities is called allodizing. 19. Intergranular corrosion in aluminum alloy parts cannot always be detected by surface indications. 20. Select the solvent used to clean acrylics and rubber. Aliphatic naphtha. 21. Which of the following are acceptable to use in cleaning anodized surfaces? 4. Stainless steel wire brush. 5. Fiber bristle brush. 3 and 5. 22. Caustic cleaning products used on aluminum structures have the effect of producing corrosion. 23. What should be done to prevent rapid deterioration when oil or grease come in contact with a tire? Wipe the tire with a dry cloth followed by a washdown and rinse with soap and water. 24. Of the following, when and or where is galvanic corrosion is most likely to occur? At the interface of a steel fastener and aluminum alloy inspection plate in the presence of an electrolyte. 25. Spilled mercury on aluminum causes rapid and severe corrosion that is very difficult to control. 26. How may magnesium engine parts be cleaned? Wash with a commercial solvent, decarbonize, and scrape or grit blast. 27. 
galvanic corrosion is likely to be most rapid and severe when the surface area of the anodic metal is smaller than the surface area of the cathodic metal. 28. 2. In the galvanic or electrochemical series for metals, the most anodic metals are those that will give up electrons most easily. Regarding the above statements, only number 2 is true. 29. Which of the following may not be detectable even by careful visual inspection of the surface of aluminum alloy parts or structures? Intergranular corrosion. 30. Fiat surfaces cause concern in chemical cleaning because of the danger of entrapping corrosive materials. 31. Which of the following is an acceptable first step procedure to help prevent scratching when cleaning a transparent plastic surface? Flush the surface with clean water. 32. Which of the following are the desired effects of using allodine on aluminum alloy? 1. A slightly rough surface. 4. Increased corrosion resistance. 1 and 4. 33. One way of obtaining increased resistance to stress corrosion cracking is by creating compressive stresses by a shot peening on the metal surface. 34. Which of the listed conditions is not one of the requirements for corrosion to occur? The presence of a passive oxide film.